Welcome to Cheap Cheese. Brace yourselves for a shocking fact. Every single day, a staggering 3 million gallons of soy sauce are consumed worldwide. That's enough soy sauce to fill about four and a half Olympic-sized swimming pools. Can you imagine diving into a pool of soy sauce? You'd probably emerge perfectly marinated. Now let's take a moment to appreciate the soy sauce aficionados out there. Leading the pack, we've got China, Japan, and the United States. These three countries alone consume enough soy sauce to make a soybean farmer weep with joy. And that's saying something because soybean farmers are a tough bunch. In China, it's not just a condiment, it's a way of life. It's in their stir fries, their marinades, and even in some traditional desserts. Over in Japan, they take their soy sauce very seriously. It's not just about flavor, it's about harmony, balance, and tradition. And in the United States, well, let's just say if there's a sushi roll or a bowl of ramen involved, there's bound to be soy sauce. So, with all this soy sauce sloshing around, it's safe to say that our world is quite literally drenched in the stuff. I mean, if aliens were to visit us, they'd probably think we're a bunch of salty, soy sauce-loving creatures, and they wouldn't be wrong. But here's something to ponder. Have you ever stood in the grocery aisle, staring at the array of soy sauce bottles and wondered why some are priced like liquid gold while others are as cheap as chips? And what's more, have you ever questioned what makes them different? Well, my friends, Prepare to have your mind blown because we're about to delve into the fascinating world of soy sauce. It's a tale of two sauces, the cheap, everyman sauce, and the luxurious, wallet-denting elixir. Now have you ever wondered why some soy sauces cost a fortune while others are dirt cheap? Stay tuned, we're about to spill the beans, or, in this case, the soybeans. So, what's the deal with cheap soy sauce? Well, most of it comes from large-scale factories, predominantly in China. Now, the process of making this wallet-friendly condiment might not be as romantic as you'd hope. Instead of centuries-old family traditions, think more along the lines of modern chemistry. It's all about chemical hydrolysis. Fancy, right? But what it really means is that soy protein is broken down into amino acids using hydrochloric acid. It's a process that's as quick as it is cost-effective. To give you a sense of scale, one of these factories can produce several thousand gallons of soy sauce in a day. That's enough to fill up a decent-sized swimming pool. And no, we don't recommend trying that at home. After all, who wants to be the person famous for hosting the world's first soy sauce pool party? But let's dive back into the science for a moment. Once the hydrolysis is complete, it's time to neutralize the acid. This is achieved with sodium carbonate, which results in our familiar friend, sodium chloride. You might know it better as table salt. Now, this might sound a bit sterile for a foodstuff, but it's worth remembering that this process is designed for efficiency. It allows for massive, cost-effective production, which in turn keeps the price of soy sauce low. It's the reason why you can pick up a bottle for a couple of bucks in your local supermarket. And before you start worrying about this chemical process, remember that it's all regulated and safe. But it does explain why cheap soy sauce tends to have a stronger, saltier taste. It's not exactly a secret family recipe unless your family is really into industrial chemistry. So, that's why your supermarket soy sauce doesn't break the bank. But what about the pricey ones? When it comes to high-end soy sauce, it's a whole different ball game. These are often produced in Japan, using traditional methods that date back centuries. Imagine the care of a master craftsman, the patience of a bonsai grower, and the dedication of a sumo wrestler. That's the kind of attention that goes into each bottle of luxury soy sauce. Instead of a few weeks, it's a process of months, even years. It's all about natural fermentation, a slow dance of soybeans, wheat, and a mold called Aspergillus orizae. This living, breathing concoction is left to ferment in large wooden barrels, soaking up all the flavors of the elements. Now let's talk ingredients. Quality is key here. Only the finest soybeans and wheat are used, often locally sourced to ensure freshness. And the salt? It's not just any salt. We're talking about sea salt, which brings a unique complexity to the flavor profile. You might be thinking, wow, that sounds like a lot of work. And you'd be spot on. Statistics show that the production of a single bottle of luxury soy sauce involves around 2,000 hours of labor. That's like working a full-time job for a whole year. But instead of a paycheck, you get a bottle of soy sauce. But oh, what a bottle of soy sauce it is. This isn't just a condiment, folks. It's the Rolls Royce of flavor enhancers, the champagne of soy sauces. It's the kind of thing you bring out when you want to impress your foodie friends or when your sushi just needs that extra oomph. But let's not forget about the cost. With all the time, labor, and premium ingredients involved, it's no surprise that a bottle of luxury soy sauce can cost as much as a fine bottle of wine. 
Some might balk at the price, but for those who appreciate the depth and complexity of flavors, it's worth every penny. So, whether it's the fast and furious version of soy sauce or the slow and steady one, it's all about what tickles your taste buds and fits your pocket. All right, it's time for a face-off. Cheap versus expensive soy sauce. Let's get ready to rumble. In this corner, we have the reigning champion, the ubiquitous, the omnipresent, cheap soy sauce. Boasting an impressive production volume of over 1 billion gallons per year globally, it's a heavyweight contender with a punch that's hard to ignore. Its secret weapon? An unbeatable price point. For just a handful of coins, you can take home a bottle of this salty contender. But wait, is that a challenger I see? Yes, it's the expensive soy sauce, stepping into the ring with a swagger only royalty could possess. With a smaller production volume of around 50 million gallons per year, it might seem like the underdog. But don't let those numbers fool you. It packs a flavorful punch that the cheap sauce can only dream of. However, this challenger comes with a hefty price tag, costing up to 20 times more than its competitor. Yet it doesn't deter its loyal fanbase, who swear by its superior taste and quality. Now let's look at the consumption stats. Despite the price difference, both of these sauces have a loyal following. The cheap sauce, with its affordability and accessibility, is a staple in many households worldwide. On the other hand, the expensive sauce, with its rich, complex flavor profile, has a dedicated niche of gourmets and culinary aficionados who wouldn't dream of using anything else. But where do these contenders hail from? The cheaper soy sauce is largely produced in China and other parts of Asia, where soy sauce is a fundamental part of the local cuisine. On the flip side, the more expensive soy sauce is often handcrafted in Japan, where artisans employ centuries-old brewing methods to create a product that's as much a work of art as it is a condiment. So there you have it, folks. The showdown of the century, or should we say the soy down, the... So now you know the soy sauce saga, from cheap to chic. We've traveled from the bustling factories that churn out everyday soy sauce by the gallon, to the tranquil breweries where artisanal soy sauce is carefully fermented, aged, and bottled. Let's do a quick soy sauce summary, shall we? Our everyday budget-friendly soy sauce is quickly produced using hydrolyzed soy protein. It's like the fast food of the sauce world. Quick, convenient, and hits the spot when you're in a pinch. This sauce is largely produced in bustling factories where it's all about quantity and speed. Now let's switch gears and revisit the world of luxury soy sauce. This is your fine dining experience, if you will. It's traditionally brewed, undergoing a process of fermentation and aging that can take up to two years. The result? A rich, complex flavor that's nothing short of a culinary delight. This sauce is predominantly handcrafted in tranquil breweries where time and quality are the secret ingredients. So why the difference in price, you ask? Well, it's like comparing a hot dog to a gourmet steak. The production process, ingredients, and time invested in making each bottle of soy sauce determine its price tag. The cheap sauce is like a quick bite on the run while the expensive one is a slow, enjoyable meal at a fancy restaurant. And remember folks, soy sauce isn't just a condiment, it's a global phenomenon. It's drizzled, dipped, and dashed across meals by millions of people worldwide every day from sushi in Japan to stir-fries in America. It's a sauce that has bridged cultures and cuisines, making it a true culinary superstar. As we wrap up our saucy saga, let's not forget that whether it's cheap or chic, Soy sauce adds that extra zing to our meals, making them a tad bit more delicious, and a whole lot more interesting. Thank you for joining us on this saucy journey. If you want to stay in the loop for more tasty tidbits, subscribe to Cheap Cheese. We promise to keep your fact diet as delicious as possible.